Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your slightly congested host, Anand <laughs> Jr. Uh, the foothills are letting me know that the seasons are changing. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, I was down here, AFK, trying to get up a little more cacti for green dye. Hello, Beach Duck. I'm going to need your help today, so uh, stay stay sharp. <laughs> I, I keep moving some bone meal over here for the next time I need to run a batch of uh, nether shrooms. And one of the bigger things I did, besides um, spending a little time getting some basalt medic, if you're watching, uh, please dig in. I kind of figured that between the two of us, we we're going to need a fair amount of it, so I made sure there was a fair amount of it. <clears throat> And I also spent time digging out the uh, the room, the back room. Th this is going to be where the back room goes. I've pretty much got the wall where it's going to go, except I've got one small problem. Uh, <laughs> you, you see that ice and snow? That that's the uh, that that ice right there is um, the 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 side of the mountain. Uh, <clears throat> so. One of the things I was contemplating was taking either some cyan glass or some light blue glass and putting a three high window all the way across the top of that. Um, and that way I'm not pushing pushing out the wall. <laughs> I'm not pushing out the wall any further than I've already kind of slightly re-terraformed. Um, and... Uh, yeah, which brings me to the problem. the The other part of the problem is I need to figure out a a color palette for for the uh, for the walls for this room. Uh, I thought I was gonna do something white to blend with the snow, like either using actual snow blocks, but that didn't seem right on an interior. Um, you know. Maybe maybe using some quartz. We get a couple of a couple of masons that are good for some quartz. Uh, except I, I don't want to do another quartz wall. I, I did that I did that in season one for the for the chapel. Um, I I even looked at maybe maybe doing the bone, get it getting that off white for the bone, uh, which we got plenty of. So it's not like I'm I got to worry about running short on materials for that one. Uh, or maybe doing a combination of them, but that's not that's not really blending well. Uh, that wouldn't blend well. Uh, the concrete's a little that that is that is technically. Uh, oh, uh, let me get that off there. Uh, if you look in the bottom left there, it that's supposed to be white concrete. I mean, it looks a little gray for me, but you know, I don't know. Uh, and that's the concrete powder I thought about throwing in there too. And then I figured, all right, so we're going with uh, maybe a blue window, some blue ice. So, so let me get some blue terracotta. Um, this is supposedly light blue terracotta. <laughs> and this is supposedly blue terracotta. Now, I know my color recognition skills are suspect, if you've ever seen me try to color match clothes, you, you'll you'll know. Hush, rest. <clears throat> but that looks awfully purple for blue. That looks even more purple for blue. And, and I might do something with the cyan terracotta, maybe too. Or you know, may, maybe yeah. I don't know. Um, the the more I thought about it, the more I didn't want to put. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I, I definitely did not want to put ice and snow on the interior wall. Uh, I want to make sure that it's very clearly delineated. This is an interior and not an exterior. Uh, oh, also I thought that since we got the, the warped nether planks over there, maybe I'll do something with the red. I'm going to put air quotes around red again because that that's not the reddest red for the, the, uh, crimson planks. And the crimson stems, and then I was like, well, what do I do for the third color tone? 
because like the oxidized copper really fits in nice with the with the warped planks and the warp stems. Um, the the regular copper, the non oxidized copper, uh, looks really good with the jungle planks and the jungle and the stripped jungle logs. Um, I thought maybe about red terracotta, but that man, that that's like uh, hi. Ohio State called. Uh, <laughs> they they would like the red back, please. I, I thought maybe about a partially oxidized copper. Because the, the copper goes through four stages. There There's that first stage. There's this one. And then there's one in between here and there that's a little closer to green. Um, so, I mean, I, I guess I... Are, are you saying the the actual blue terracotta, or should you want to you want to see what some actual purple terracotta looks like? Because uh, I could show you what some actual purple terracotta looks like. Let me let me go grab uh, dig into my vast supplies of terracotta. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't say that one with a straight face. This 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 is the uh, this is the purple terracotta. And talk on it. You might be right on that one. That that might just be it. Of course, that doesn't answer the question of whether or not that should be the walls for this big interior room. Because um, I want this one to be a little, a little brighter. Uh oh oh the orange from the copper yeah yeah so so that that definitely seems like an option. Um, I wish I could remember where I put my axe. So the planks and the stems and, and uh, the purple terracotta. That that okay. That could work. One of the other one of the other palettes I was looking at is since I want since I was thinking about something a little brighter, uh, working with either the orange terracotta, the yellow terracotta, or or something with the honey blocks. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't bring myself to use that honeycomb block. The 70s called. They want their design back. Uh, <laughs> I I could get a little more use out of the copper, maybe, with the yellow, the orange, and the copper. Uh, or the yellow and the honey blocks. And, and, and something else. But I... Uh, I... I, I I put the honey blocks down there and I just, I can't, I, I can't even. What, pull the, pull the copper out of, out of that one? Even the, even the exposed copper? I mean, and have no fear. D getting getting a couple of working pallets. Oh, so even even the exposed copper. Okay. So what? Do the the yellow, the orange, and the honey blocks, and get rid of the uh, get rid of these guys. I I can't. I can't even. Is the pick even the right tool to pick this up? This seems kind of. So let's pack this down a little bit closer. Alright, so we got this as another color palette. With the honey blocks, the yellow, and the orange. Maybe. 
I mean, I could, I could, I could start playing with the glazed terracotta, but the designs are. I, I'm not ready to start that yet. Definitely not ready to start that yet. All right, so we got the crimson planks and the purple terracotta. We got some yellow and orange. Uh, although, here's the thing. If I end up putting either the blue or cyan, and I'm the, the more I look at it, the more I'm leaning towards the light blue. If I install that light blue window, I don't think either one of those is going to work. Because uh, I, you know, put, putting a putting a do I have any more light blue glass? You think the red palette might? Uh, hang on, I got a box full of glass somewhere. So having it, having a light blue glass window across the top with uh, with that, because I mean I I know that's not gonna. <laughs> but I yeah I don't I think the I think the yellow and orange is out for this room anyway. I I'm. I might like that for something else, but I, I don't think my retinas could take an entire room of this. The, this is uh, this is leading leading the design choices for this room. Uh, I still wouldn't mind doing something with the cyan terracotta too, because the cyan terracotta and the blue definitely looks good. But I want I. I, I want to put a I want to put a third color in there, you know. I, I'm not going to do the wall in just cyan terracotta, um, and, and that's uh, that's that guy right there. And I don't I don't think I want to do the cyan blue and light blue because that that doesn't seem to quite work. I might do the cyan and bone. as part of a design. Did I lose you, Beach Duck? Or is the delay making this harder than it should be? No light blue. Uh, no light blue terracotta. Because I'm definitely, I'm definitely not doing the, not doing the ice for the interior. So let me clear out some of the options that we're not using. Um, we're not using the snow. I did throw a fair bit of that down, didn't I? All right. <laughs> Cyan with a splash of lime lines. <laughs> uh, as much as I like the idea, it just doesn't feel like it's in keeping with the other rooms. Because uh, cream is not a color used in in Minecraft. Uh, we, we get 16 colors. White, light gray, gray, black, brown, red, orange, yellow, lime, green, cyan, light blue, blue, purple, magenta, and pink. Uh, this is, according to Minecraft, white concrete, which I'm wondering if that's what you're talking about. 
Um, the the bone blocks are kind of a, an off-white type deal. That's supposed to be cyan terracotta. Um, oh yeah, let me pull up the quartz because I, I I'm not I'm not ready to do a big room in quartz. Uh, mostly I'm trying to keep each room with a with a tritone, uh, a three color palette setup, but each room distinctly its own. So like in this room, we've got the the green planks, the green stripped logs, and the green copper. Um, there, there is no real good third color in this room because it's a little small. So it's just the two different nether bricks. Um, but if we come up, oh, I, I did a little decorating up here too. I, I meant to do that at, before I started disappearing into the, uh, it, it seemed appropriate to put that head in front of Jeva. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I put together a little end table with, uh, with a couple of blocks, you know, some coffee. Um, I, I might get rid of the clay pot and do this design so it feels a little bit more something down there. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to do a slab for that table on the side of the couch. I like the Dragon Guardian. Or if I want to do that design for the table on the side of the couch. And there's a very special puppy. Okay. All right. Back back to uh, <laughs> back to what I meant to do. <laughs> so we, we, we got kind of the, the, the copper planks and logs. We got the copper planks and logs. We've got the sandstone planks and logs. Oh, that's right. I'm near the side of the mountain. I was like, uh, what was that noise? Oh, that, that'd be one of the zombies outside. Here, I'll, I'll help him. So that that is the kind of theme where each room has its own two to three color palette. Uh, the, 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 the logs on the roof down here seem to be the one exception, but it seemed, it seemed right for the room. Uh, so I've got three different planks there and I, I broke up the pure moss floor that, that was, uh, it, it seemed a bit much. And I think I might've gone a little too far in the other direction. Um, with a little too much variety. I was also watching Building with B-Dubs when I did this, so that might have had an influence too. So, just like all first floor floors, there's the, the deep slate tiles for the wainscoting, and then two to three color palette. But this one's going to stretch from that corner to that corner to there to there. So it's going to be a ginormous room. Um, and the more I think about it, the more I would like to put a light blue window across the top. Um, since I'm going to have to deal with the fact that that's the edge of the world anyway. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to put in here. Probably not a bunch of machines. Maybe some personal storage and that kind of thing. Here, let me pull this down. I wanted to get some more, uh, some more of these guys going. Is that all of them? No, one more. Uh, but yeah, I, I was thinking about getting a little personal storage out, out that way. 
so that way I'm not a stack of boxes at the back of the room. <laughs> uh, yeah, the more I think about it, the more the more this is a no go for this room. So so yeah, let's let's take this up. That's a no-go for this one. Um, yeah, th this is this is leaning, especially since it, it then becomes the the mirror to the crimson roots. How oh, the crimson roots and, and or the crimson logs and the warped logs back to back with each other. I'm just not sure about that blue window. <laughs> that that's that's the one thing that kind of gets really even with the blue window. No blue. Well, because that that's. That's part of the conundrum. Uh, where I'm clearing out there is technically the outside. So I was thinking about instead of having to reshape the mountain. Uh, well, yeah, I was thinking blue more so because it blends in with the packed ice. Because we're going to have snow and packed ice out the edge of that window anyway. And the blue kind of fits in with the ice a little bit better. Although, uh, let, me, let me grab some white glass because... I made some of the cyan thinking that that might that might be it. And, and that was very clearly not it. So we would have the white with the snow and packed ice or the light blue with the snow and the packed ice. Which is better? The the white window would be better. Of course, that brings up the other part that if I end up doing the wall in the the crimson planks and purple terracotta, I guess the white would work with that, wouldn't it? Probably also have some planks in there too, so it wouldn't be it wouldn't be all yeah, you know, it'd be a lot of that together. So we would have those three colors and a white window across the top. Okay. Then I, I guess I'll clear up uh, a lot of this mess. I'm gonna save the cyan terracotta for something. I, I do. I don't like the light blue and blue, but I do like that cyan terracotta. I gotta find a. I gotta find a space to use. Oh, maybe I'll use that for the potion brewing room. Do maybe cyan terracotta bone and the white concrete. That that might be a <laughs> yeah that 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 might be a that might be a potion room. Cause that's gonna be that's gonna be over. 
over here. Um, I'm still not 100% sold on the on the birch floor, but something with something with uh, that. I don't know. I'll come back to that one. Uh, that's not that's not the main one for today. the The main one for today is the big room, because uh, I also want to put some redstone in that guy over there. Uh, that that's definitely going to have to have some redstone. All right. Um, space. Can I have so little space? <laughs> Never mind. I know the answer to that one. All right, let, let, let me clear out the old inventory. Let's get the bones away there. Uh, let's grab what terracotta I have so I can re dye that. Uh, let's put the copper away. I can't, I'm never going to find any of this until I get this all sorted out. Uh, matter of fact, I get a box for torches, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. Uh, quartz. Alright, all this terracotta is about to become, uh, become the, the purple terracotta right now. Anyway, you know... I almost wish you could uh, take the amethyst shards and make purple dye out of that. That would actually be a good renewable source of purple dye. I mean, I guess we could add a custom recipe for that. Because that 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 would be kind that would be kind of nice. Now that I'm looking at it and trying to figure out how I'm gonna get a hold of all that purple. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. I, I, I'll be I'll be headed there soon enough. <laughs> all right. Uh, let Let me see how much I actually have once I dye all this purple. Um, what is with all this junk? So much junk. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna clear that out right there. All my inventory. You know what? No. Okay. Quartz. Quartz. Uh, bone blocks. And... Ice. And honey of locks. And that leaves me with white... And a whole bunch of different terracotta. Okay. All right. Let's, uh... Borrow our crafting bench. <laughs> I need to make some more. What does that sound? Okay. All right. Let's grab a bunch of purple dye. Let's go ahead and start crafting up the purple terracotta. Um, uh, let's see. I need... Do I have six more terracotta in here? No. Let's see how far 
two stacks in a bit? That's not going to be enough. There, there's no way that's going to be enough. Who am I kidding to think that's going to be enough? All right, let me, uh, let me go, let me go run over to the castle for some terracotta. Oh, wait, I still got some over here too. Uh, there we go. I'm surprised that the the white the white glass ended up being the winner on that one too. I really thought the light blue would have made it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, not enough. Okay. Let's uh torches and snow and ice. Let's take a nap before we head out there. It's dangerous to go at night. Did my wings not deploy? I'm a little worried about that. Alright, uh, oh, there's my axe, and I won't need the shovel. Oh, and I definitely want to turn this into a grand entrance on to this side i'm gonna use a different three by three door i just haven't figured out what i've got a little bit of room to to put some redstone on this side so i don't know we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes one one step at a time one step at a time all right I know I dug up a bunch of terracotta. See, I know I've also got a bunch of terracotta because this... This was the other project that I was going to try to get Beach Duck's help on. Uh, trying to create a Western, like a Midwestern style color palette for and design. I think I got the, the color palette okay uh, with the... With the terracotta, the orange, the red, and the yellow. I just, I don't... I don't know how to do a Midwestern design, so if we got time uh, and Beach Duck is still still around, I'll, uh, I'll 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 tag you on that one too. Um, all right, let me just steal this. Let me rob from this project to go do that other project. <laughs> uh, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, no, I'm out of purple dye. The <laughs> I'll put those in there for now, and I'll come back to that one. Uh, let's see if this is going to be enough. I might also need to spend more time at the Mesa. Doing the Mesa boogie? No. Um, the... Other question is whether I've got enough crimson logs for that room. Because I, I went through, I think I've only got three stacks of crimson logs. And I know, I know that room took more than three stacks. Um, probably also going to need more more than 17 white stained glass. Um, we'll see how far that gets me. Um, 
Yeah, I've only got the the three stacks of crimson crimson stems, so I'm probably gonna have to spend some time. Oh, I'm gonna have to spend a lot more time logging those guys. Uh, good good thing I got an easy way to get the mushrooms now, because that that when when I was doing when I was doing these guys. The biggest frustration was getting the mushrooms to grow the stems. Now, now that I got this thing going, that, that's uh, <laughs> that's way easier. And it's just a matter of growing the tree and cutting it down. Growing the tree and cutting it down. I, I don't know why I pulled that out of my inventory. I, I need to I need to put the window up now. Um, especially while while. Uh, oh, oh. Let's not. Oh, are you kidding me? When I want one of those guys, I can't get them for nothing. Right now, when it would be super inconvenient to have one? Yep. Oh, I do need my shovel. Doggone it. I got all the way up here, and I still need the shovel. All right. Let's do that. And let's get back up here. Cause I need the I need the shovel to pick up the blocks of snow. <laughs> yeah, see uh the this is this is where we're at. I, I put these guys up hastily because I found I found out while uh, digging out the wall that uh, I was right at the edge of the mountain. Uh, and that that does bring up the other thing. Uh, on this side over here, the Two blocks up to the roof are a taper of stairs and stairs and then half slabs. And I think I want to carry that. I'm lost to my own castle. Uh, and I think I want to carry that on over here so that. Ooh, that, that expert flying. Mm hmm. Expert flying. So does that mean that I want to maybe go down? And go like that. And taper the window back. That means I could also pull this back and it would be a little less awkward. Um, hang on. Let me pick up my resources before they go disappearing. my oh there's my window and then the big the big problem would be trying to figure out how to make these match up in the in the corner actually I think I just answered my own question I'll stagger stagger the the windows diagonally That is right over where the wall is going to go, so that does need to be my first. Okay. Oop. I swear I'm going to clip that just a little too short one of these <laughs> one of these days. All right, let's uh, let's get this side cleared away. I know I'm getting ready to pick all that stuff up in a minute anyway, but and 
I guess the other question is, should I do the window all the way down? Yeah, I should do the window all the way down. I may put a couple of snowdrifts on the window just so that way it's not uh, clearly clear all the way through. Does that make sense? I don't think that made sense. That might be a, a cup of coffee shy of making sense. I guess this is the only spot where where the the window kind of yeah I'll I'll clear a little bit of that out. I was really trying not to do too much terraforming to the mountain and keep it as close to uh, its natural state as possible, but I, I've already I've already pushed this out a little too much for that. All right, a terraforming we go. Because this corner was clearly not natural. I, I tried to cover it up a little bit, but, uh, it, uh... You know, you try. You try the best you can. Oh yeah, I gotta be a little more careful since I can't work through the night while I got this big open hole. That's uh, that's contrary to health, or at least long-term health. Uh, matter of fact, I think what I'm gonna do is instead of constantly grabbing the same shulker box 807 times, there we go. I'm just gonna put that there. I'm gonna put a temporary bed down right here. I'm too lazy to keep running up to the bedroom. Okay, that one ring of block of ice is bothering me a lot. <laughs> Alright, don't let me forget to pick those up too. Uh, so let's clear, let's clear these out for now. We, we can build them back up a little bit later. our snow and ice though. Well, it's not impossible to get it back. I, I'd just as soon not lose it in the first place. If that makes sense. And this one this one corner. Yep. We're about to that one step too far. That's where the corner's gonna go. Yeah, and then we'll figure out how to make it blend next. I mean, maybe not like next next, but soonish. Soon adjacent. end up clearing that out too. One one step at a time. Matter of fact, what I might do is start putting some snow blocks in there.
All right, and I'll figure out the rest as soon as I get the window in. One, oh, oh, there, there was, um, that's right. I was going to check for missing blocks before I started putting stuff down. Anything over here? Nope. Okay. Just the stuff on the other side down here. Oh. Okay. Uh, I waited too long. It despawned. That's a shame. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do a little more terraforming because some of this area is coming up to where the wall is going to cut things short. So I'm definitely, definitely going to have to prepare to do a little more alteration of the terrain. Um, that's okay. fix that a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to trim that back or just add more ice spilling over here so it looks like uh, an ice flow kind of came over that part of the window. Um, that, that's in the uh, to be determined. By the time this is done I'll definitely have plenty of ice left over though. I do not have plenty of white glass left over, though. Let's grab... <laughs> I'm going to need more than three. Uh, at least white dye I have plenty of. Uh... Let's see, let's see if that's going to be enough. That's getting a tighter and tighter space. I think there's a, I want to say that there's an achievement for flying through a one by one square at maximum velocity or something like that. I wonder, I wonder if I can qualify for that. All right, that's right. This wall is going to come up here. And I don't know if I want to wrap the window around the corner here or just have, have it a hard and fast, like, here be the wall. Um, in the meantime, let me go ahead and block that up so nothing drops in while I'm figuring this out in the middle of the night. Nothing drops in in the middle of the night while I'm figuring this out. Um, coffee time in just a minute. Let's finish getting this window in. This also helps with some of the, the lighting concerns too. Although again, that, that's one of those things that I'm so happy they changed. That you, you no longer have to have absolute darkness. Right, let's put that there for now so nothing can crawl in there. And we'll we'll figure out the corners later. Let's float on down this way. Yeah, I gotta I gotta figure that entry hall, but not not until I can figure out um, what door I want to put in there. Snow? No, that's not snow. That's the snow. And ice. <laughs> the Song of Snow and Ice. The lesser known book. <laughs> I'm sorry, I could I couldn't help that one. Alright. Uh oh yeah, I got a bunch of snow and ice in there too. I got I got all this stuff all over the place. Um Spruce. Alright, yeah, okay. 
I, I might need to do another logging session too. I had four stacks of everything not too far back, and now I'm down to my last two stacks of birch. A stack and a bit of acacia. I haven't touched the jungle in a while. Um, spruce and dark oak. I, I've been going through a fair bit of dark oak for the decorations. And actually, I don't think I was caught back up on the oak because I hate harvesting oak with a deep and abiding passion. I've also been going through and trying to get the pressure plates to be a little bit more color matched. So the gray pressure plates over the stone, the black is as close as I can get to the deep slate. Because oddly enough, there's no deep slate buttons or pressure plates. Which I find, I find interesting. Ah, oh, this is a big room. Who decided to make a room this big? You did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. I know. It's a one by one block at, at minimum 50 blocks a second. <laughs> For the achievement. Ooh. Okay. Oh, 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 the, the flight achievement. Alright, can I do this without having to. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let me clear out this last little area here, and then I can start installing the wall. So how are you doing, Arcadius? Um, doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Can't complain. Oh, I mean, you can always complain. Yeah, I'm here. I, I th this is one of those things that I know I know I struggle with. So I'm trying to work. I'm trying to work harder on the design. Uh, color color palette selection is uh, obviously a, a little bit of a weak suit. Like I, I can do pretty good with the monochromatic. Uh, it's when I start trying to mix a little more variety in there for texture that I that I still have a lot of trouble, especially working with stuff like uh, shades of white, shades of gray. I can do, uh, but yeah, you know, doing this kind of stuff, not 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 so much. <laughs> I angled that a little too high. So it's one of those. It's definitely one of those areas that I need to work on. Although. Uh, I do have to say I need to thank B-double-O for his building with B-dub stuff because uh, the whole build the walls too thick bit of advice, that that is the best advice I ever got because that allows me to have a different interior for this room and not interfere with that room. It also makes it a little bit easier to hide uh, some of the design stuff too because... Uh, let me, let me, all right, hang on. Let me uh, let me let me pick up some of the blocks that dropped on the other side, and I'll show you one of the things that I'm talking about. Oh, come on, oh, up the mountain. Matter of fact, let's uh, there we go. <laughs> let's not have any zombies come, you know, crawling in there, shall we? That that would be bad. For the zombie. For the zombie. <laughs> All right, let's head over this. Oh. The whole reason why I did the pressure plates is so I didn't have to do that. Okay. Like these couches over here, I was able to use by putting two beds next to each other. So it looks like a, a couch with a couple of end pillows, kind of, if you squint a little bit. But more importantly, uh, I'm able to get the dark oak trapdoor back for the couch by embedding it in the wall. And if this wall was only one thick, uh, I wouldn't, you, you'd, you'd see this weird trapdoor space behind it and it just wouldn't, it wouldn't. 
I forgot my platform. <laughs> uh, I'll get to that. You you wouldn't be able you wouldn't be able to do that. So that gives you the 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 look of a little bit more backing to that. Oh, by the by, for the end table, a slab randomly hanging out the wall or a stair upside down so it looks like it's got a little more support. Like I I I think the stair is a little on the nose whereas the slab you can easily just say it's bracketed and yeah. hammered in the wall. Yeah, cuz the the stair the the upside down stair looks more properly supported, but that slab gives it a little bit more room to breathe, and that that's kind of that was my concern. I, I also like this little end table design that kind of looks nice too. I had to use armor stands to get these guys in there though, because you can't put any because of where the trap door is, you can't put any blocks on top of it. So I've got armor stands for those two guys. These two are just on top of the bookshelf. But this one over here, because I wanted this one centered on the two bookshelves, I had to do the armor stand again. Be gotcha. So, but that also gives it a nice little, uh, a nice little look, and, and of course, Leela. <laughs> and I, I still think it's funny that you've got uh, Mister Jubba over there with the uh, rabbit just out of reach. Yeah, it yeah, it, it seemed right. It just, it just seemed right. He's staring at it, too. No? <laughs> He's like, I see you. And, and I'm, you, I'm not 100% sure about these shadow boxes for the, for the dragon statues. Um, I, I like having the red wool in the back to make it look like a padded deal. Uh, I like this frame a little bit. I just, I'm not sure. I wouldn't be able to put it back in the wall. Because of the way the the blocks work in Minecraft, and in order to set this back into the wall, it would have to be I'd have to make that wall three blocks thick, which I'm not I'm not quite ready to do that here. Or maybe I scrap it and just do this design in the castle too. And yes, I gave the dragon a stick because if a dragon's got a stick, you gotta wonder what he's charged that wand with. <laughs> So, it's getting there. I'd like to find a few more parrots to put around here, although I, I think I'm going to have to silence them. They're, they're, the, the chirping's getting uh, a little too much. <laughs> but this is starting to look a little bit better. It looks less empty. I would, I would like to put something here-ish. I don't know if I'm going to put, like, maybe a, a statue or a fountain... Or maybe that's what I do, is I put a small fountain here, knock out a little bit of this rail here, and have it flow into a bigger fountain. Uh, ooh. That's an idea. Knock out a little bit of that there, and then I can have a bigger fountain over here, so the fountain flows from up there to down here. Yeah. All right. I like that. I like that. All right, I got to remember that. Don't let me forget that. <laughs> forget what? Uh, I don't remember. That, that one thing, I don't... Yeah, 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 that one thing that uh, I was going to remember. <laughs> that thing. Yep. Totally. Uh, oh, that's right, that's the, uh, I was like, why is there a random, oh yeah, that's right, that's the door. <laughs> I got another little spot of mountain to patch up. Now, did, for the castle, did you have just the kitchen or, or more than that? I can't remember. 
I know I know I've got the dining room and I gotta I gotta get cranking on on that too uh, that is on the agenda uh, not maybe not for today depends on how long it takes to install this wall uh, I've got the kitchen the pantry which I turned into an ice box um, and I also have the bedroom uh, one of them Okay. In which case, you also have a bedroom. By the way. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I do. I know. I've got the bedroom to do. Um, I, I figured I'd wait and see how how some of the other stuff was turning out before I got too far into that one. I, mean, I guess I could knock that one out real quick. some of that stuff anyway. I got a few things on the other side to clear up. Then I'll be ready to start installation. That's going to be that column that nobody's going to see, so I don't have to do anything with that. Because ain't nobody going to see that. Don't don't tell Reyes that I'm just leaving the unseen blocks un. un <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And I mean, if I had a bajillion in two blocks right now, I might feel a little differently than it. But nope. <laughs> Let's, let's get this cleared up a little bit more. Are you hopping on voice too? I see you logging in. Yeah, I'm already here. Okay. How are you Just doing? Wondering where, wondering where an Arcadius is. Oh, I'm here. Well, you're you're on voice. Of course. Where else would I be? I'm guessing you're uh, you're on a different game that ends with craft. That took me a minute, but maybe. <laughs> maybe. All right. Um. Yeah. I'll I'll fix the corners later. <laughs> one step at a time. That's what I keep telling myself. One step at a time. So what you working on there, Medic? Uh, the preliminary idea of our storage system. Nice. I will be so happy to be working out of an automated storage. <laughs> I'm so tired of flipping through random boxes going, is this where I let... Oh, no, no, what about... No, not there either. Uh, and gravel and dirt and stone and so much stone. <laughs> All right. That's uh that's a lot of wall. Alright, so that is the palette. A very purplish red. <laughs> I mean I guess you just pick a corner and go, right? Now the terracotta is gonna be an accent every now and again. I'm going to need so many crimson logs. The, the, I'm going to need so many crimson planks. 
This isn't even going to be funny how many crimson planks I'm going to need. <laughs> yeah, still not exactly sure how I'm going to do the floor yet. Oh, my copper should be about done, though. Nope, it's not. No? Nope. I guess in order for it to oxidize... Somebody actually has to be on. Yeah, somebody has to be in the area to keep it loaded. And um, if you've got it, do you have it spaced out a little bit more? I've got it one one apart. Yeah, I, I think it needs a little bit more space than just one. I could be wrong about that part. Um, you, you you missed the other side of the. The, the main hall a couple of days ago, I had a bunch of copper out there oxidizing. <laughs> well, there it is oxidizing. It's just going very slowly. Oh, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, this is the way. That's a little too, that's a little too regular. a bunch of scaffolding. I don't know where it went. Uh, I put a bunch I'm of scaffolding sure. in a box somewhere. Well, I'm sure it's in <laughs> a shulker somewhere that I've left at some site somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I'm running into that problem too where I I know I put it in, I put it somewhere in a box. Definitely cannot put the terracotta at the end of those, at the end of those strip logs. That that just does not look right. Uh, maybe we'll put it there. Yeah. Not too bad. Still got to figure out what I'm going to do for that corner, too. Um, hmm. Or I could just build this other wall. finish this up otherwise I'm gonna have problems with uh, stuff spawning up here if I don't light it up because um, right now I'm okay but I'm at the point where it's uh, we're at the fours and fives with a couple of threes in there somewhere no not yet 
Uh, but we're not that far off. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to have to, I almost wish I had a second computer handy that I could log in with the camera account so I can keep an eye from that perspective as I build. Now I see why so many of the hermits do that kind of stuff. That's going to be, yeah, that's going to be like right over another couple of strips of the planks or strips of the logs. So, uh, then we'll go like that, maybe. Throw that there. could definitely put that up in the top three there, maybe. Just, uh, like... Just a small one. Like that. gonna be yeah because we got that strip there so I guess I'll just um, do like a so like a so and like a so yeah I got fewer of the sections of uh, log in there so I might I might go back and pull some of this out after the fact. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I got a couple of spots that I definitely want to pull some of that out. I mean, I guess I could actually go take in my rockets up here, too. Because <laughs> uh, we're definitely reaching that point where uh, flight is going to be the better better option. I get because hmm. I'm about to run out of run out of wall to work on too. Uh, any chance you could go sleepy, sleepy? storage area, but let me grab my bed. Alright, I'm coming out. Nothing hit me, nothing hit me, nothing hit me. <laughs> Come on, go away. Oh, you don't have a, a bed down there with you? Not yet, but I want to fix that here in just a second. Okay, yeah, that, that, that seems... That seems wise.
mean you don't have a chest full of spare beds? Uh, no. Yeah, I've already been down there pillaging the wool. Not the black, right? No, not the black. And I got a bed. Hmm. Well, if you've been pillaging the wool, it's it's stocked up pretty good except black. <laughs> <laughs> There's one stack of black and like six stacks of everything else. Yeah. Yeah, I went and topped off my uh, box full of wool for uh, for just about everything. Yeah, I, I might have to do like a just one single black only one over here in this area that stays. Oh yeah, somewhere that stays loaded. Well, I don't I don't think it'll be a problem once once we get a little more uh, a little more situated with stuff too because I. I Give it, give it a little bit more time to pick up, because I think a lot of us are using black for stuff more immediate. If that makes sense. Well, and that's what I mean, because I need a lot of it. What are you building that you need that much black wool? That's what the sky is going to be made out of in the uh, in the chapel. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, the entire ceiling is going to be black wool. You know, I, got, I need the, the black wool for it. You see that or concrete powder. <laughs> Well, don't forget, we can turn uh, charcoal and coal into black dye. But then it also requires making a concrete powder machine that I don't really feel like doing right now. Oh, oh, oh. I, I thought you were talking about just using concrete powder itself. Uh, no. No? Not unless they change the physics on it where it doesn't fall. That's what strings for. No. No? No. You're not just gonna throw it under some string and call it a day? No. Uh, I'll try that. That'll, that that might take care of that corner. I'll clean this up later. I'll clean the sides up later. Yeah. I, I need to get rid of that strip of planks right there because that's or that strip of strip logs because that that's a little better. Yeah. I think I'm okay on most of this stuff. I'm just going to need... I'm going to need to spend a lot of time farming the crimson... the crimson logs.
guess I don't need the white stained glass on me right now either. Uh, To it. Yeah, I need to. I, I think I need to get a hold of a channeling trident, and because uh, I'm on a quest to get all the banner patterns, and uh, that, that's why you may have noticed an extra villager in the in the hole. <laughs> well, I, I noticed the uh, I noticed the different ba uh, pattern uh, banner here. Which different banner? There's different banners in front of the uh, enchanting area. Oh no, I didn't do that. No, I did that. Okay. One's uh, supposed to be the high room shield. Eh, eh, not really. <laughs> um, not 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 so much. No, no, it doesn't work on the shield. It's, it's hoping it would. Uh, the other one is just like um, something I found online that looks cool. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, the one I found online was the red and gold, but I tried it in two different colors. I think I like it in the black and uh, green better, though. But it looks good on a shield, so try it out. Take one off the wall, make a copy of it, put it back up. That is a really nice feature, the ability to just make a copy of Oh yeah, to, to copy the banners and... You don't have to sit there and actually remake one. Uh, I I still deeply love the, uh, the tables. And you're not sitting there using 82 dies for, uh, for one, you know, one banner pattern. But the ability to just throw a blank banner and the banner you have onto a table and pull off two of the same banner is amazing. Still there, Beach Duck? Passed out with her shark. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> All right, that's not too bad. I'll have to do some fine tuning, but uh, overall, that's not that's not too bad. Oh, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about lighting. Actually, I might just do the roof the same way I did there. In which case, I'll actually need to pull pull back to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to pull out, pull pull two of those back. So that way I can do the stairs and come into as well. Yeah, yeah. Bother. That's going to be even worse, because there's no terracotta stairs. Ow. Well, oh, use concrete stairs. Oh, wait. <laughs> don't, 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 don't get me started. Don't get me started on that. I mean, seriously. Although we're, we're, we're going to get mud. And a new tree. Is it mud stairs? 
Uh, I think I think there is for the for the dried mud. You, you mix mud and wheat, and it makes uh, packed mud or something like that. I'll, I'll I'll fix that as soon as I figure out how I want to how I want to make some of that work. Uh, do I have enough to go across this way? Not likely. So I guess we'll just see how far I can go. <laughs> Cause yeah, that that's a little too empty. I gotta do I gotta do something there to break it up just a little smidge. That's a little too symmetrical. Although that's easy enough to fix. There are no other stairs other than the crimson stairs. So that's going to be where, you know, I couldn't get a full three-tone on the stairs on the roof. Um, but at least being able to do the cut copper stairs gave me something to break up the, the sameness of it. Uh, I'm lost in my own castle. I also don't know what I'm going to do for the floor. I might continue this pattern in the floor. I'm going to have to get some more shroom lights, which I'll get as a consequence of getting more crimson stems. Yeah. Yeah, I think I might do that. I might keep that design going this way. To give it just a uh, just enough just enough uh, something some word that I can't quite think of. See, I've already got snow forming on the glass too, <laughs> which is what well, I, I did want. That uh, I'll definitely have to put a little bit of the ice coming down too. Oh, now that we got dripstone, does this mean we can get icicles? Like, like could could that Moyang could could that be a thing? Like, if you've got... Yeah, would they you? can give that to you right after they give us our concrete slab in the stairs. <laughs> this unbridled cynicism is too close to my own. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize you had a monopoly. Somebody's got to be optimistic on the server. Oh. Hey, Medic, where are you? Do your job. Not it. <laughs> <laughs> Not it.
I mean, we can't all be that cynical. I mean, we can, but we shouldn't be all be that cynical. <laughs> Although, I don't know, some some people make that kind of hard. Like, I know I, I know I was talking to Arcadius about it before the live stream, but uh, did well. Let me preface this: Have you seen Doc M's video with the with the gas the gas blaster? No. Okay. Uh, so Doc finally reveals why he's been capturing gas. And he goes, you know, I was talking to Methods, and he came up with this really cool idea, so I'm going to build it on the Hermitcraft server. So Methods put this together, and I, we're going to go ahead and do this here. So here's a link to Methods' video, and, and like it is blindingly, painstakingly clear that Methods put, the, put together the design for this machine. Like, he said it 18 different ways, provided links to the original video, everything you could possibly want somebody to do when they're using somebody else's design, and then some. Like, above and beyond the call for making sure that people knew it was not his design. And people apparently have gone to Methods video and are posting nasty comments about how, Doc's, uh, about how he stole his design from Doc. People will be paid. So even though he went to such extreme lengths to make sure that people knew that what he was doing was based off of something Methods put together, they're all yelling in Methods comments about how he stole the design from Doc. I mean, it is a neat machine. Methods apparently figured out that when the gas fires the projectile, it is placed in the world in front of the gas and then given momentum. So he figured out the precise position you need to place everything to include the player so that when the, the gas ball is in the world, it is on the player's head with no forward momentum. Meaning, as soon as you right-click, you're now... It's like uh, hitting a gas ball that's in the air, except you get to choose where the initial momentum vector sends it. <laughs> And you can just sit there, and he's got five gas in this contraption, all dropping gas shots, and he's just blowing away netherrack, looking for uh, <laughs> looking for ancient debris. Uh, I definitely need a lot more logs. <laughs> That's as far as I got with my log supply. <laughs> a wall in a bit. I guess I could take down the dirt stairs. I guess I know what I'm doing with my free time as we go. But, uh, yeah, a and it is, to be fair, it is an absolutely amazing design. Um, it, it, it is insane, but you, you want to talk about a finicky setup. Ooh, man, you, you just think about tapping one of those gas projectiles in the wrong direction and, 
Uh, you're about to have a very bad day. <laughs> because like he he completely ruined the contraption twice in that <laughs> twice in the video. Um, from from accidentally blowing up the minecart that you get that you start off in. Uh, on the other hand, firing off a bajillion gas balls to get <laughs> to get <laughs> to break netherrack. Uh, that that is that is definitely something. Oh, best thing I put together. <laughs> have to concur like it's one of it's one of those things that it's just it's so simple it's not like you know th this this is the most complicated machine i've put together but man wh when you need when all you need are some crimson crimson fungus like right there there's 24 now i'm gonna go grab some bone meal and uh grow some trees <laughs> that bone meal that I put away. And I'll probably drop off the warp fungus over there too. Okay, maybe I didn't go too far overboard with uh, with the floor here. Oh, I did notice this too, because I, I wanted the same floor for, uh, for both of the rooms where I got, you know, natural farm type deals. Uh, because... Because this area is frozen peaks. The grass blocks are that kind of desaturated color. Mm -hmm. But you go to this side of my corner of the mountain, and now we're in dripstone caves. So the grass blocks are that lush green. So it's literally two different by two different biomes between this door and that door. I I don't know why that amuses me so, but it does. So imagine if you would have just did your whole floor in grass. Uh, mm, no, because it it oh you talking about the whole inside? Yeah, it, it would have changed like midway through. Where where? What does it change? Frozen peaks, dripstone caves. Yeah, it would have started somewhere around here. Yeah. Okay. Let me, uh, <laughs> uh, oh, let me grab. Let's grab my backpack. Wait, don't the alliums break down into purple? Or no? Because somebody was saying that they wish they had an easier way to get purple. Oh no, they break down in magenta. No. Mm -hmm. Ah. Duck on it. I thought I, I thought I sorry, I thought I had it. <laughs> nope. No easy way to get purple. Just like no easy way to get lime green. Yeah. I mean anything with green. It, Cause uh the sea pickles cook down into lime green. Oh, do they? Yeah. Yeah, the sea pickles oh. cooked down to the lime green. I did not know that. Yep. The more you know. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'll put the shovel away and grab the hoe. 
Because I do wanna, I do wanna keep uh, all the. Another word. Oh, come on! I need, I need some big trees, not, not this mess. I won't take that shroom light though. Yeah, uh, I just, I hate that cactus is the only way to get green. It would be, it would be nice if there was at least one other way. But I mean, technically in, in a straight unmodified, unmodified vanilla, uh, squid ink is the only way to get, no, no, because even the wither roses, the wither roses will give you black. Should probably try doing another Wither Rose farm too. Although that didn't that didn't quite uh <laughs> those you want know, to talk about finicky those Wither Rose farm when when even Tango and Impulse are struggling to get a get a Wither Rose farm together, uh, you got to kind of wonder. <laughs> Them jokers are finicky. if I should get a lumberjack skin together like Corrales has. <laughs> given, given, given how much is good, like, I mean, I love the crimson stems and the warp nylium, and, but man, they're a pain to get in any quantity. Especially when I keep getting all those stupid short trees. Like, I need logs, man. G give, me, give me one of those, you know, massive... Ah, oh, well. Ah, oh, well. Oh, that's right. The I, I was like, why do I hear shears going? Because of the wool farm? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, you're over there. I, I, might, I might need to get one more cup of coffee before... No, no, because I, I still need to do that sleep thing. I hear it's healthy. Yeah, I'm the same way right now. I I am exhausted. I've been averaging about six and a half, seven hours sleep. Closer to six and a half. Of course, uh, Fitbit calculated that, that average with a nine hour uh, night over the weekend. So uh, that, that might be throw <laughs> throwing the average off a little. I need to check out that banner you're talking about. Is that that's over in the enchanting station by the castle? Uh, there's a bunch like, of banners right there. Hmm. No, where it, is it? Over there in that the uh, in the enchanting yeah. station in our current storage room. Okay. That 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 was the that was the because we've got enchanting stations scattered all over this place. And I approve of that. <laughs> can I make it? Can I make it? Nope. Out of like the 20 times I have tried to do that, I've made it once. Oh, 
Oh. That's using the oxidaisy pattern and the brick, maybe? I feel like there's one other pattern in there that that's that I'm missing. Looks good though. I need to get my uh, Kraken banner hanging somewhere. I think season one I had that that orange lightsaber pattern for all my stuff. I wanted to do something different, huh? I haven't messed with uh, with patterns at all. Uh, I ever very 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 few of them are my own. Mostly, it's stuff I found on Planet Minecraft. Because, uh, yeah, I, I haven't quite gotten the knack for putting together some of the various patterns to get to get what I'm after. Well, I typically just Google a rough idea of what I want. Well, I mean, unless it's putting the banner that the uh, Homeowners Association rep brought over when they had complaints. The complaints sounded like, her. Her. <laughs> and they were rather How'd pointed too, again? but huh? How did those go again? <laughs> you know how they went. Oh, don't worry. I'll get to them anyway for a voice pack. I I still got to update the two for uh 1.18.2. And, and on top of that, 1.19 is changing the data pack format again, too. So I had to update it for 1.18.1, 1.18.2, and I'm going to have to do it again for 1.19. <laughs> and that's just the, the two voice packs. And really, all I need to do is make one small change in the pack meta file in the in the resource pack um, it's just the the pain of recompiling it and publishing it and putting all the notices everywhere and then I think of somebody like uh, voodoo beard who's got a lot more and a lot more complicated data packs and right now he's he hasn't updated any of his for 1.18.2 Uh, that's part of what I was looking at because I, I do want to get the server up to 1.18.2 at some point in the very near future. But we, uh, I also don't want to, uh, I want to make sure that we have, there we go, twice. <laughs> um, oh, well, good job. I tried to take you out of there or take off from out of there once. <laughs> How'd that go? <laughs> something about meeting kinetic energy or something. Yeah. At some point, I am gonna definitely try to get that achievement again, though. Where where you go? What was it? Fifty blocks an hour. Yeah, minimum fifty blocks an hour. Or 50 blocks a second. 50 blocks through a second a block. through a one by one hole. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember in season zero, Arcadius and I working on, trying to work on that and experiencing kinetic energy a great many times. I don't think we yeah. ever actually got it. No, I don't do think we with, did. You have to do it with a uh, rocket? Uh, you're, you're, up to three. yeah, because I, I don't think you're going to be able to fall and get that kind of speed. Does it have to be horizontal or? Yeah. Yeah. So it can't be vertical? No, no, you've got to actually. Oh, 
I mean, we, we've also seen from some of the Hermitcraft episodes that falling <laughs> falling vertically into a one-by-one -one hole isn't exactly uh, the simplest <laughs> the simplest deal either. How, how many people did Grian's little free-falling game and uh, not survive the experience? <laughs> Oh no, I'm 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 just I'm thinking of many different ways that can make you go that quick. But one of the ways uh, I'm thinking uh getting down was the one that I thought would do it. But getting cuz as you glide down, you lose a lot of control of what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> um so yeah. I mean, believe me, I, I I wouldn't mind trying to figure out if there was a way to do a slime block launcher that pushed you down and gave you the kind of, you know, momentum you needed to do that. Hmm, now you got me thinking. <laughs> what about a slime block launcher that helps you get the achievement? about getting the achievement. Oh. <laughs> Just about getting the achievement. Just about getting the achievement. Oh, yeah. I, I think every now and again about doing doing some achievement hunting and trying to do some of the really weird ones. Uh, it, how did we get here is one that I've never tried but would like to, but that is most definitely a late game achievement to attempt. You, you're you're not going to do that one early. That, that's the one for getting every status effect in the game simultaneously. So you've got to go through beacons, chug potions, uh, relocate a shulker into the overworld so that way they can shoot you while a pufferfish stabs you and yeah seems like a lot of hard work uh, yeah I've seen a couple people do it but you, you look at what they gotta do to make that happen and it's like I don't know like, I mean I'm all for getting some achievements but <laughs> that seems that seems a little little rougher than I'd want to do. On the other hand, so few people get it that uh, it might be worth it just for the notoriety. Maybe. But you gotta record getting it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Otherwise, hacks! <laughs> uh, I'll be sure to speedrun it. Alright, I'm about to come through and name tag all them sheep. Silence me. There we go. Now we're getting the tall trees. So all it says is uh -oh. that you have to have an elytra flying faster than 40 blocks per second through a one-by-one one hole. That's all it says. So, theoretically, you could do that going straight up and down. Yeah. If you had the wings at you, well, I guess, yeah. So you're trying to figure out a way to cheese the achievement? Uh, I'm working on it right now. <laughs> You're going to dig a one-by-one one tunnel and we'll, we'll just uh, hit the rockets on the way down and hope that it eventually counts it? Or does there have... I, I wonder if there's any checks for how much uh, empty space and all that there is. That could be an interesting thing, though, to figure out how many achievements you can cheese. Oh, 
you guys up. Oh, for the scaffolding. I'm now a little bit nervous about. Oh, oh! I stalled. Oh wow! Well, um. So what the? What did I do with all my scaffolding? I don't know, but uh, uh, I appear to be experiencing some yeah. connection difficulties. Yep, doing the same thing to me. Hmm. Oh! Maybe it kicked me out. <laughs> yep, I think it kicked us both. But the server said call it a night. <laughs> didn't want me to break that <laughs> so thank you for joining along I hope you had fun uh, we'll be back to some more decorations maybe next time uh, I might do that over the weekend because uh, I do have a couple of redstone bits that I do want to get to uh, in the very near future so hopefully by, by the next time I'll have found the little piggy and the nether his uh, seven brothers and uh and we'll get that band of brothers together into a more crazy piglin trading farm than i've done in the past because why not um tuesday 6 30 p.m us eastern is always coffee craft fridays is kind of up for grabs right now um as much as i i i got i got another project that i've got to get started i've been putting it off for far too long so keep an eye out for Friday. Hopefully I'll start that. Although if I'm just not feeling that project, it'll be Coffee Craft or something else. Maybe Alt F4. Uh, it might be time to take a look at that now that uh, they've released the full story mode. Uh, it, if you like watching repeatedly falling to my doom. Uh, <laughs> Who wouldn't like that? <laughs> I know, I know. All right, so let's see who is available to raid... And yeah, we're going to go give Beast Lord a raid. He's playing Babylon's Fall, so I'm going to hit the title card. Stick around for the raid, and I will see you next time.